All right, how's it going, everybody? It is Dal Nino here, and I want to make this quick video to talk about what I'm trying to aspire to be for 2021, for the next year. We're kind of at the end of 2020. I know Corona's been a piece of shit. Okay, it's, it's ruined our lives, I'm sure. But I mean, hey, this also means that a whole lot of playing games, I guess, and streaming. <laughs> but still, no, come on, it's serious. It's, it's quite bad. All right, guys. Okay, but seriously, I'm, I'm here to talk about something. Um, that I gotta get off my chest, okay, because it's quite bad. And as you all know, my channel is not doing so great. <laughs> you already all know this, okay? I'm sure many people already know. My views are dropping way lower than they usually do, unless they are kind of content that is really well polished and well edited. Things like my Guild Wars 2 videos I actually do pretty well. Things like guide videos, they end up doing pretty well. Things that are well polished. So I think coming into 2021, I really need to revamp my shit, okay? It's it's not working, okay? It's not working. I spend, like, what? Half the night, mostly all my nights, streaming, okay? They usually last up until 8 hours, sometimes 10 hours if I'm really into the game. 10 hour streams, and then... I don't really have time to edit as much because I stream for so long, right? Long hours. I can't just buy myself an editor because I know how to edit myself. I practice editing myself. So a lot of my videos, they are edited by me. And a lot of my videos are actually, I tend to try to make them informative videos that is going to help the viewer. So what is the goal? Okay, let's, let's shorten this video and not make it too long. Let's just talk about what is my goal? coming into YouTube for 2021, even starting today. We can make these changes today. I need to figure out a way to make it, to make this channel more of a better brand than it already is. And what I mean by that is we need to rechange some things with how we release content, okay? First of all, there's no, there's going to be no more copy-paste highlight bullshit, okay? It is clear. No one fucking likes that. Okay? No more. So I'm not gonna be like, okay, oh, I had this one really good game in Overwatch. I had this one really good game in, in Guild Wars 2 and I did a crazy raid. Okay, whatever. From what I see, people don't give a shit about that. So no more of that, I guess. Unless they're well edited and really revamp every single thing that happens in the game. Um, obviously that will take effort, but I think what I really want to do is make more informative, detailed guides on the games that I play, mainly Overwatch and Guild Wars 2, and there's the other topic of Season 11 of League of Legends. Now I need to make this decision now, okay? It's gonna be a pretty important decision, no cap. Probably going to be the most important decision I make right now is do I return to League of Legends for Season of and I haven't played this game in like over a year, maybe even two years. I literally have stopped playing it consistently for at least more than three years, at the very least. I haven't been making videos for it. I've quit the game a long time ago. But now Season 11 is here. There's new items. I still don't find it, you know the league I want to play because my favorite season of League of Legends was season 4. Okay, season 4, season 3, god tier League of Legends. That was the pinnacle, the awesome pinnacle of League, in my opinion. Now, it's, it's a matter of, it's a matter of do I return to the game and start making educative content for the game? That's gonna be the, the pickle, alright? I need to figure something out. I don't know. Look, this whole YouTube thing, <laughs> I've been doing it far too long. I The thing is, I have way too many videos that are not successful, but a small portion of my older videos are very successful. So it's like, oh, the newer shit I'm doing is not as good as the older stuff that I've done, which is far better. So I don't know where, I'm, where that leaves me, really. Um, I'm trying to make it so that... <sighs> I don't know. Look, listen, it's a pain in my ass. I keep thinking about it every day. How the fuck am I going to make my YouTube channel better than what it is currently? Because right now it is it is in a weird position, okay? 
and we need to do something now because this channel's been dying for quite some time in terms of viewership numbers. My streams are not so bad. I do enjoy the streams the most. In fact, streaming is one of the most things I enjoy. And I do have always a community that people come in. Make sure you guys hop in our Discord down below if you guys want to join in the community and hop in our stream or whatever. The issue really is the game. The games that I'm going to play, right? Because I know that a lot of you who are watching this are probably League viewers or Overwatch viewers. A small portion may be Guild Wars 2 viewers. Maybe a big portion are Guild Wars 2 viewers and I wouldn't know because I have a lot of Guild Wars 2 people that actually watch my, my shit. And I'm not kidding. So the problem is I've split my community so much I need to focus on what kind of videos I'm going to be making that is educative, right? Is educated even a word? I don't fucking know. We're going to use that word, okay? I want to make educative content for all these type of games that I already play, right? So I want to vamp it into a way where it's helpful for the viewer, all right? It's helpful for the viewer as well as entertaining, right? So th this ranges from anything really within the game itself. So I think that's what I want to plan for, at least for the next year. And... We'll figure something out from there. I don't know. That's the kind of thing I have in mind. I'm, I'm more curious what you guys actually want to see, right? What you guys want this channel uh, to be, or if you say you came from this side of the community, you were like, oh, El Nino, you don't do this anymore. El Nino, you don't do that anymore. You know, the thing is, here's the problem, right? Just hear me out. Just, Just listen, hear me out. I can't make everyone happy at this point. Okay, look, we, we've split our community so much to this point that it is literally almost close to impossible to get a whole full community from all the games that I play all join in together in one. So what, what's going to happen is I will... It's going to be really weird because I'm going to be making educative content for different kind of games. And it's not like I don't want to, you know, I'm just not going to quit these games. I actually like these games. You know, Overwatch, Guild Wars 2, I love these games. I don't feel like quitting them for the sole reason that I want my YouTube channel to succeed. But if that's that's been a sacrifice that I made with League... <laughs> With League of Legends, I made the sacrifice. Oh shit, I'm gonna keep playing League. I'm gonna keep playing League. I'm gonna keep playing League. That game drained my fucking energy and soul for years. And I kept doing it. And it made me more angry and more angry and more angry. Eventually, I made a video on, oh, why I quit League of Legends and how Overwatch changed my life and all that shit. You guys can check it out. It is in my YouTube channel. Okay, so we need to figure out a way, guys, all right? Together, well, we have to find our way, okay? I'm at, okay, look, listen. I'm at 10.6k subs. It's not the best, okay? 10k subs, that is a lot of years that I put into this channel. It's not a big number. I'm not gonna hear, uh, be egotistical, like, hey, yo, what's up? I got 10k viewers, Pog, you, you know, all that bullshit. That doesn't matter, okay? It's, it's, that's not the point. The point is I want to make content that's actually interesting. And that, that's, that's my passion, that, that's that's my main passion that I want to give out for the viewer. And I feel like if I go back to the roots of educative content that helps people improve within the game, it really brings in more people. And I feel like that's kind of been always my thing. Um, as well as having like rage comp compilations. I have like rage compilations for League. I have like, you know, some form of entertaining content here and there because I'm a freak, right? I am crazy. And not many of you may know that unless you hop into my stream, then you'll know I'm fucking nuts. Okay, but the idea is I want to actually make interesting content for the viewer. And I feel like starting from here on out, I have to make these videos well edited, well polished, have commentary behind the video, have you really, really plan it out, you know? Every video really planned out. <laughs> losing my voice a little bit so i want i want to make them planned out well accurately polished no bullshit just you know just polished content that is always going to be useful long term and that's where my Anna positioning guide video comes in, explaining all the maps. And when Overwatch 2 comes out, I'm going to be making Anna positioning guide videos for those 
as well. The new Overwatch 2 maps that are going to be releasing, as you all know, Toronto, etc., etc. There's going to be way more, more heroes, all that shit. So it's going to make the game very, very interesting. So when Overwatch 2 comes out, that's when I got to sweep in, man. I got to sweep in. I'm going to be mass releasing content, I feel, when Overwatch 2 comes out. Because I got to take this opportunity, right? This opportunity game first released. I got to take that. I got to take it. Like, I got to be faster than other people. It's a very competitive channel, especially now with, like, with YouTube. It's far more competitive, and you really got to snatch at things before other people try to uh, do that content first. So you got to come up with the idea and just release it. So that's what I plan to do with Overwatch 2 when it comes out. And I feel like, hopefully, that's going to be a real boost up to my channel and get it somewhere larger than what it is now. With that being said, there's the topic about League of Legends. <laughs> Am I going to return to this game? Am I ever going to return to this game? That is a question I have no idea what the answer is to yet, because I haven't played this game for years. And I, I know I made a video about it that I quit it, and I keep bouncing back and on, uninstall, install, uninstall, uninstall. Like, it's been like this for years. I, I've uninstalled the game over 50 times, for sure, for sure. Um, I don't know, 2021 is going to be an interesting year. I think I need to be a lot smarter with my video releases. They have to be well-polished, well-edited, no bullshit, just... I don't know, okay? I need that... I need to be smarter with at least this year. I tried to do that in 2020. I tried to release good actual content that is no bullshit. And for the most part, I have been releasing good, well-edited videos this year. And some of them really peaked. Guild Wars 2 videos peaked. Overwatch Anna Positioning Guide videos, they have actually been doing well. A lot of those stuff are actually not bad this year. But I need to focus next year on heavily pushing the more guide commentary uh, kind of, I want to make that the focal point as well as the entertainment aspect. So it's going to be a very important year uh, overall uh, for me. So we just got to, we just got to be boom, sweeping in when the opportunity rises, boom, sweep in. So that's what we plan to do. If you guys have anything you want to add yourself, feel free. I always read the comments. You guys have no idea. I read the comments every single day. Every single day, either I open my phone or my PC, I check the comments every time. So feel free to say something and let me know. Okay? That's going to be it for the video. I know this is going to be like just a, a kind of recording for my phone. So I got to head off. Um, it is 7 a.m. So we got to hop off real quick. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, hopefully will dominate in 2021 and really get somewhere, guys. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling positive, all right? Would appreciate, always appreciate the support. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.